the first to 10, a warning tonight if you use those popular ride hailing apps. Tonight, Fort Worth police say do not ride alone, and this is a scary reason why. Investigators say an Uber driver is on the run after sexually assaulting a passenger while taking her home. Marisa Vedra reports. Then, uh, I'm going with a bunch of girls from my small group. Be it after a drink. Probably like once or twice a weekend. Or to the airport. Or while your car's in the shop, you use a phone to call a ride. But what do you do to stay safe? So I'll say, hey, I'm leaving. I'm going to go ahead and go home. I'll text you when I get home. And then if I'm really concerned, sometimes I'll like share my location through the iPhone or whatever, just so that they know they can track me too. I'm definitely a lot more hyper aware of if I'm just riding alone, feel a lot more secure if I'm with a friend. Women take Uber or Lyft rides alone every day. And Fort Worth police say driver Hashem Ramazanpour sexually assaulted one of them last month. The victim is recovering and is with family right now, very shooken up, and we're trying to do the best we possibly can to try to bring justice for this family. The victim is 77, and October 22nd at 6 p.m., she called an Uber to take her from Dallas to North Fort Worth. Police say she was 10 minutes from home when Ramazanpour attacked. Pulled off to the side of the road, he exited his vehicle and approached her from the passenger side of the vehicle, and that's when the actual assault and contact was made. He then took the woman home. In the last month, Fort Worth police say it identified Ramazanpour with help from Uber and waited for evidence to come back from the lab. There is now a warrant out for his arrest, and he's banned from working for the company police say he used to find his victim. Fort Worth police say the night of the assault, Ramazanpour was driving a white 2016 Honda Civic license plate on that car, JBY3214. He does have a Dallas address listed when we looked him up, but we understand detectives say they have information that lead to them to believe it's possible that Ramazanpour might be out of the country. However, should any customs agents type in his name, this warrant would come right up. We also looked into his criminal past. We understand he had an arrest for family violence in February of this year. No word yet on whether that was before or after he applied and was given the go-ahead to drive with Uber. We've reached out to the company and are waiting to hear back. Live in Dallas, Marisa Vedra, Channel 8 News.